The 2017 Kentucky Veterans Hall of Fame inductees were introduced in grand fashion today. Thanks for staying with us at 430. I'm Kayla Moody and for Rachel Platt. Governor Matt Bevin, Lieutenant Governor Janine Hampton and other state leaders took the stage at the ceremony in Frankfurt. WHS 11's Tabney Dozier is here now with more on the special occasion. Tabney. Well, Kayla, Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes says Kentucky has more than 350,000 veterans in the state. Honoring those who served and some who gave their lives is the purpose of the ceremony, but many leaders say we should do a little more to show appreciation to them each and every day. There's more than just planes flying around Kentucky's capital. The fast track parachute team nailed a perfect landing carrying our nation's flag. This kicked off the Kentucky Veterans Hall of Fame ceremony. We honor the veterans for what they've done after the service. It's not what they did in the service, that they continue to serve when they got out of service. 23 veterans from the Bluegrass State have been nominated for the class of 2017, representing all branches of the military and multiple conflicts, including World War II. Four inductees are now deceased, but they were represented by their loved ones in Frankfurt in the Capitol Rotunda. I've met so many veterans who say I did nothing fantastic, I did nothing special, but you know what, if you served your nation in military uniform, you are to be commended. This marks the fifth year celebrating the Veterans Hall of Fame. Almost 180 have already been inducted. It's not just the freedom of assembly, the freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, and yes, the freedom to vote that each of those who have worn a uniform protect and literally put their lives on the line for. Thank you for taking a moment to stop to honor the men and women who have served this nation, some uh, with a degree of sacrifice that none of us would want to pay, and yet among us there have always been people willing to pay. When the conversation of our armed forces come up, the biggest action we see and hear so often is gratitude. Today was more of a celebration. The actual induction ceremony is September 29th and 30th in Frankfurt at the convention center with dinner and medallion presentations. Friday's dinner next month is free and the ceremony is open to the public. The list of inductees and the upcoming ceremony, all those details posted for you right now on WHAS11.com.